Hey, Lin well met friends, and Dang here for another episode of the amazing story that Turbine has crafted as we make our way through the Helm's Deep Zone. And when we last left off, we were looking for a spy who had infiltrated Idris and then run off to the north. And so now we have just one main knowledge of him, which is the fact that he has a certain symbol that needs to be found. All right. Let's go ahead and talk to this person. What brings well you met, friend. Events? We have need for a champion such as you. Well, that's convenient. The Rohirrim will need your aid. I confess that it, I find it a joy to see strangers journeying through our lands. As you see, Stoke is in dire need of assistance. You should speak at once with Frithlund, our reeve. No doubt, she will welcome you as a friend. Frithild is likely in council with her captains with the mead hall, within the mead hall. You should go there at once. All right, so we now have two quests telling us to talk with her. So that is what we shall do. Cordain calls a halt as you approach the entrance to the city. It seems that our fortunes turn for the worse. It seems that our fortunes turn for the worse, Standing. A glint of light caught my eye from afar, and my worries are now confirmed. Cordain holds a small object he found in the grass, a blood ruby red filled with a silver brooch shaped in the form of an eye. Our friend knew of our pursuit, and discarded the only thing which we would know him. Now he vanishes into the city, free to strike as at his leisure. I will give you this brooch, but I confess that it is not the outcome for, I, for which I hoped. Now, we must deliver a warning only to the reeve, and not the means of ending a threat. All right. Well, worst thing happens is the entire city gets stoked on fire. Just saying. It's the worst possible thing that could happen. Everything else should be fine. And I do love how their symbol is fire. It's just a cool, cool symbol to have as a people of Rohan. And then if you, like, betray your king and you attack, then you can be like, and then the Fire Nation attacked. It'd be great. Glorious. All right. All right. There she is. Maintain the peace and do no harm to my people or their lands. It and you will be welcome. Yes. It is always a pleasure to meet a new champion, Ending. If you maintain the peace and do not harm my people or these lands, you shall be welcome in my hall at any time. Frithun listens as you recount your pursuit of Wormtongue's mysterious ally and the mischief he wrought at Edoras. She smiles when you mention that Eowyn desired you to bring word of the danger. He might pose for the Brodickers. She has always been a strong girl, and in truth she reminds me of myself at that age. When she had grown some more, and broken a nose or two, she will be quite a woman. I must chafe at remaining behind to shepherd the people to safety while others ride to war. I would do the same had the war not come right to my own lands. There is battle enough in the broad acres. Someone may have seen your secret interloper as he came to Stoke Ending. You should speak with Wigblad, the guard at the southern gate. If anyone saw anything, it would be Wigblad. All right, the other quest. I have another quest. Will you help my people? You have come at an opportune time, stranger. It grieves me that I cannot send aid to Theoden King. I am a loyal subject, but I must consider my own people first. 
We have been under assault by wild riders for days. The grazing lands west of Stoke burn, and our town is overcrowded with refugees and livestock. If we can bring this siege, then there will be nothing to stop me from growing to my king's aid. Please, help secure the gates of the town while I consider the best course of action. You can find wood planks throughout the town. Gather them, and take them to the gates, and repair the damage to the barricades. All right, and Athelros is encouraging me, saying I might beat Spridra after all to 95. That is my goal, after all. It's just to beat Spridra. Now, she does have finals for two more days, so hopefully I will, in the next two days, be able to get to at least ahead of her and hopefully beat her. All right, let's go ahead and make our way out of the city. Now, see, here again, we have a completely different design of a city. I don't know how you can be this creative with Rohirrim cities, but they certainly are, and that is fantastic. All right, yes, let's make our way to the guard. All right. You say you look for someone. I've you seen scores come through this gate yes. today. You say you look for someone. Well, I've seen scores of people come through the gate this day. What can you tell me about his appearance? You admit to Wigbald that you do not have a good idea of your prey's appearance. That makes it more difficult to find someone, no doubt, about it. There was one fellow I thought seemed worthy of your suspicion, now that you mention it. He kept asking about the Norcrofts, so it could be he has left the village entirely and headed east. You tell Wigbog that you may search around Stoke for any clues, just to be certain, and he shrugs. You are welcome to do as you like, of course. It is your time you'd be wasting. The only suspicious fellow I've seen was asking about the Norcrofts. All right. Well, we shall search either in the Norcrofts or the town of Stoke for sign of Wormtongue's ally. Yes. That's a nice horse. Very yellow I hair. I am afraid of what is happening to these lands. As am I. All right. There is. Aha! Here we are. Disturbed Earth. The Mound of Earth indicates a scuffle of some sort took place here. Hmm. Very interesting. There was a scuffle. Hmm. Footprints. Booted footprints. You find booted footprints in the mud at the base of this fence. Alright, there's four planks, or one. Okay. Scattered leaves. Let's examine this closely. The leaves have been scattered, but it might have only been the wind. It's never the wind. That's what they teach you in champion school. Never trust the wind. Alright, a helmet. There's lots of suspicious things here. Abandoned helmet. You have found a discarded helmet, but whose helmet is it? Are you looking for the man who dropped that helmet? Are you looking for the man that dropped that helmet? I saw him come back for it, but when he saw me, he ran. I followed him for a while, but he kept running west out of town. And I think he might be looking for the orcs. I could tell he was trouble. Did, ch did I do the right thing? Of course you did, child. If I see him again... I'll tell you all, Reeve Fifth. You had better tell here who I am, or she'll let me in. So she'll let me in the mead hall. My name is Anglith, and I live here in Stoke my whole life. My mother says I need to stay inside the walls. 
That is the only reason I did not follow the man and bring him back for the king's justice. I knew he was a villain. You tell Reeve Flinton that I'll let her know if I see him again. All right? Promise you I will. Promise. All right, child. I shall go tell the Reeve, but first I must collect more planks. As that is far more important, clearly. Alright, where are these planks of wood? Aha! There is a plank. I shall pick it up immediately. Yes, picking up the plank. <laughs> yes. Alright, now the other. The other plank. Alright, next we shall find the two more. The two other planks. It must be around here. Aha! Yes, there's another plank. And I must loot. And there, there is the final. <laughs> All right. We shall collect this plank for the good of the Rohan and the people in it. Oh, yes, let's repair the barricades. The city. Of course. Right, yes, let's repair the barricade. Fantastic, it looks exactly the same. Perfect. So glad we repaired them. Alright, let's head towards the south to repair more barricades of the city. Alright, yes, here's more barricades to repair. Of course. Time to get the final two barricades. Then we shall tell her of the child. Those are cool shields. You got a nice store, buddy. All right. We are nearly there. Those barricades don't really do much good there. I suppose they have them out of the way, ready to be placed at any moment in the path of the road. Time to talk with the Reeve. Actually, both are to talk to the Reeve. Alright. Here we go. Nice fires here. Imagine that Stoke has nice fires. Alright. Oh yeah, moved over there. Talk with the townsperson, yes. Fantastic. Alright. You say this child saw the man for whom you seek, and he has joined the orcs? Yes. You say the child saw the man for whom you seek? I would like to meet Angloth and speak with her myself. My hall will be open to her as well. If this man you pursued from Edoras has joined the orcs, the danger he poses has turned from a secret one to a threat we here in Stoke now know all too well. We have been endangered by the ravages of the orcs and their half-orc brethren. For many months now. All right. Yes. Why not? Worm tongues puzzle. The a orcs have launched name, attacks perhaps. on Stoke before now, but we must not remain idle. The orcs have launched attacks on Stoke before, but now we have always fended off their assaults. If this secret foe you chased here is as canny as he seems, he might be able to help the orcs attack more effectively. The camp is called Baradarm, in the filthy tongue, in their filthy tongue. Wipe the land clean of its foul inhabitants, and see if you can find any sign of their plans. Very well. You still have another quest. There is oh, work to be done uh, here. You have returned. I believe I know what must be done, though I dare say I am concerned that it may not be possible. 
Andang. I know what needs to be done. We established that in the previous quest text, but I confess that I hesitate to do so. If we were to send aid to Theoden King, we must first break the siege upon Stoke. But to do that, we must transfer the thanes of the Broadacres, and I have no doubt that they too face the threat of assault. Nevertheless, it must be done. Speak with Grimar, and he will provide you with signals that take to my things. Each signet bears the crest of their households, and they will know what it means when they are in dire need of aid. Not far to the northeast lies Orsakli, where dwells Ordak. It is settled on the, an embankment leading down to Entwash, so they may have not yet seen the smoke of the fires here. Ordak is a pleasant fellow, and likely will be the most ready to join our cause. You should go to him first. Grimar, will you aid the horse lords? So we've Hathran has decided to summon the thanes. I recommend that she do so days ago, but I understand her concerns. It may be well that Ordlach and Tolnard will be unable to come in time. Nevertheless, here are the signets of Ordesi and Torsby. Fithron told you of Ordak, but not Tordag. The Tain of Torsbury is brave and a mighty warrior, but he is not the most clever man. It took much for him to accept Fithron, a woman, as Reeve, when her husband perished. But since she broke his nose in a brawl, he has been faith, a faithful retainer. May fortune smile upon you as you deliver these tokens. Go to Ordesi first. I'll go where I want to go. Tell me where to go first. Can't believe him. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Helm's Deep. And when we return, we'll make sure to alert the Thanes and hopefully... Save the Broadacres and Stoke from whatever fate the spy has in mind. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode. PVMP and Dang, subscribe.